Hey folks, Evil Pajamas here with another Civilization 6 video, and this is the first video in response to my short I'll play any map that you give me on Deity video. Our requester of this video was playing for the Inca, and I tested the start location for the Inca, and I decided, opted not to use um, the Inca, but I did use a civilization that had the same starting location on this particular map seed and I'll explain why I didn't opt for the Inca I think in the little introductory part of the of the part that I've already recorded uh, when I was doing the playthrough. Now spoiler alert we do win on this playthrough but it is a uh, really poorly played game for a few reasons. Uh, the win takes uh, 300 plus turns and I spend about the first 200 turns uh, forgetting to use um, my civilization's uh, like unique ability. So, because uh, I misread it and or I misinterpreted which building it operated off of um, because I was just spacing out. So, just generally, there's a lot of mistakes in this playthrough, but it's a good example of uh, sort of like how you can win on Deity even if you actually play really, really poorly. Uh, so, uh, with just some. Uh, relatively uh just a basic strategy um as long as your sort of core strategy is is okay you can make quite a few mistakes and still win on a, a deity level difficulty map like one of the other big mistakes in this game is i make is that i don't actually define my strategy to go for any specific win condition i'm just sort of trying to build up without any particular goal in mind, which is like generally a really poor thing to do because if you have an actual goal in mind, you can sort of measure out like that, like there's sort of a tipping point in the game where it's pretty much just like you are going to win. Um, and if you don't have like a strategy that's focused in on a particular win condition, you never really reach that tipping point. So you're just sort of in this quagmire of like, oh, I'm, I, I think I'm going to win, but it just takes a really long time, uh, probably like twice as long as it really needed. So I pre-recorded the commentary for most of this while I was playing. So here is the, I think, just the, the first uh, ancient era. It takes about like 35 minutes. So I have checked the start bias on the map seed given by the requester. And uh, Arabia appears to have the same starting map bias um, and same starting location as the Incas which were given and since the requester wanted a tall playthrough um, I am going to go with Arabia because Inca has a uh, unique tile improvement which tile improvements would favor a, a, a wide build in my opinion whereas uh, Arabia has a unique building which is I think is more conducive to a um, it can be more conducive to doing a tall build, although the their building also is sort of favors wide in, uh, a little bit, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and try um, Arabia. So this is the same starting spot that you would get if you were to play with the Inca with Inca on this particular map seed. So it is a Highlands map, and. What we're going to do is we are actually going to move over and even though this removes the forest i like moving over to settle here because we have this five food tile over here with the sh uh with that sugar improvement or not improvement but that sugar uh resource so we'll give up one turn and lose this woods tile here which i'm not a huge fan of but i think that it, because it's by a fresh water source and it's right by the stone i think that this is actually uh, a fairly decent move rather than um, going with a settle in place. So let's go ahead and um, do a little bit of exploring here. We are on the north end of the map, so let's go ahead and, and go towards the south. And then I am going to go with a so I'm going to start off with the builder because I am going to go with mining and then if I run into a 
uh, a barbarian scout or anything, then I'll probably switch over to slinger regardless of whether or not I'm done with my builder, unless there's just a couple of turns left on the builder. So, let's get to exploring, and we've got our our builder there, building, and so surprisingly not a lot of mountains so far, uh, just some a lot of jungle, which is not what I would expect for highlands typically, but um, that's okay. So let's see, which way do we want to go here? This way could be more of a clear path, this way it goes into a jungle, so we'll go down this way. And then continue down this way. So nothing too exciting so far, but we've just come across a tribal village, so hopefully that will give us something here. And we've just discovered Geneva, but we are not the first to discover Geneva, so we won't be getting the the uh the envoy off of it. So that's unfortunate. Let's see. We get off the tribal village here. So we've got a hero discovery, the Mayan twins here, Hunafu and Shipalanke. And then we get a governor title for discovering the void singers here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hold that governor title for now because if I get a first meet on a city state I might want to have that Amani option. Um although I've got some chops here and I've got a builder so I think given that actually I, although I'd like to leave the Amani option open I'm gonna go ahead and and go with Magnus just to start getting some chop efficiency. We'll still have three turns till we get my oh you know what? Um <laughs> didn't even notice so we got a builder off of that tribal hut, but we didn't finish our builder. So I actually am going to switch over here to um, Monument. And that way we can, because if we don't get some culture out, we're going to have some pretty slow faith uh, generation. I mean, not faith, uh, culture generation. So let's continue on. We're running the coastline here. And we will wait here a couple turns to get our quarry built. And one more turn for the quarry. When you find yourself... Make sure we have an deity here. We do, okay. So we finished our quarry. Let's go ahead and build the quarry improvement. We got that masonry boost. And then let's go ahead and start working on... Uh, pottery, because we're going to want to work into irrigation. And we also may need some housing here, so... Let's see. We will continue along this way, and looks like a border of a city-state down here. And we've got another hero. We've got Candy, and we are the first meet on that one. Now I wish I had sa saved my Amani title. That's unfortunate. Uh, so... Now, we have one turn until Magnus, and we will have a chop available, so uh, we probably will go ahead and chop this this forest tile. And you can see we're benefiting off of moving over to pick up this five food resource. We are growing our city pretty fast there. Uh, let's see. We are now going to... We need to get another title somehow so. but we probably won't get that until we finish uh, down here which is quite a ways off but we are building a monument so that will speed it up a little and let's see this shop will give us 31 and we only need um, need less than that so go ahead and take that chop that'll finish our monument out and then I will go ahead and finish the other builder out. It's a barbarian outpost down here. So actually, 
I am not going to finish the other builder out. I am going to switch to... I think I'm actually going to switch to... I'll switch to a slinger here. I would like to switch to the Mayan twins to get um, some army built up for free. But if I switch to a slinger, I can get the archery boost. So... No, actually, I changed my mind. Because I'm not going to need to build a bunch of archers if I have... Um, if I build an army using the Mayan twins. So let's go ahead and do that. That is best. We finished Code of Laws now. So I will go ahead and start researching on foreign trade. And that's because I can sort of control the boost more for craftsmanship. So um, let's go ahead and grab God King so that we can work on our Pantheon and then Discipline so that we can fight barbs easier. And then we'll continue along this way. And what do we want our builder to do? He's got one build left. We are working three tiles now. So this tile could use an improvement. Let's go ahead and improve this tile. And then we'll be working that tile instead. And we are out of builder charges. So he goes bye-bye. And let's... So there's coastline over here. It's difficult to tell. And all right, so there's a there's a target for the Mayan twins. And then let's finish our builder out here. Come along here. You see some tundra. It says this is the southern end of the map. This is seems small even for a small map. Is that the far? Let's like. Like, if, that's, if that can't be this far, the southern end already. Alright, well, uh, that guy ran off, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to chase him. I'm going to come down here. So, one more turn to our builder. And I'll be interested if this is actually the farthest further end of the map. I don't think that it is, though. But usually no there shouldn't be tundra wet. there if there isn't. Go ahead and work on animal husbandry. Bring the Mayan twins down here. And then we finished our builder. We're at three of six on housing, and we're going to grow in two turns. So let's see. I have Magnus, so his next promotion would prevent population loss. So because of that, instead of going with the settler, which we can't speed up right now, I'm going to go with the granary. And then here... We'll be working another tile soon, so I can probably go ahead and make another mine here. And then, this looks like they're, eh, let's see. This might be, this might, this might in fact be the southern end of the map. I'm just having some, I don't know, some selective uh, north-south perception problems here, I think. Uh, Alright, so we've met China. It's China. And... Got writing off of that, and then let's go ahead and send him a delegation. Be on good terms. He's got Void Singers, so um, I've mentioned this in my videos before, but if you pick the matching secret society to them, that will usually get you off on a pretty good um, relationship with that particular civ if you are uh, interested in having a like a peaceful relationship with a with a civ there. So. Let's see, three defense modifier, six defense modifier. So we'll go there. And we'll build a mine here. One more turn until we get growth in the city. And then we're going to want to swap out foreign trade here because we could get that off of a boost. And we already have the boost for craftsmanship. So let's see. Yeah, there's snow here. I think this is, the, in fact, the far southern end of the map. So go ahead and start fighting with the Mayan twins here. And we'll hide this guy in the city here. Four turns until animal husbandry. And let's see. So China came from this way, so he's probably explored. But we didn't get the first meet on Geneva over here, so that means there's definitely a civ over here too. But since we've met China and we haven't met over here, at least um, we will get to discover the other civilization if we go the other way. So go ahead and keep fighting there. And... Let's see, I don't know. There's a chop up here. We have two builds, so let's go up there. 
and then continue along this way. And then we'll get our free unit here. We'll get military tradition. And then we can use this guy to explore. Move out. Oh, I hope my filter doesn't get snagged there. I don't think he will. I think that there's uh, movement tiles in the way. All right, so we've met America. America is over here. And let's get our Mayan twins back to heal. And let's run our builder away there. And let's see if we can send a delegation. There we go. Now, he has Owls of Minerva, so they don't have matching secret societies there. If there are no dogs in heaven. And we've got animal husbandry, and let's go ahead and start working on writing. Actually, let me see something here. We've got border growth in one turn. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and start working on irrigation. And I'll buy this tile after we get the border growth. So. one turn till we finish our granary we've got our border growth there so now we can purchase this tile here and then let's so we'll s start building the let's start building a builder We'll fortify here, and then I think we'll fortify. No, actually, we'll come along here. Try and chase him down. See if we can get a free scout. One turn till we finish craftsmanship. Skill without imagination. So we have finished craftsmanship. We'll start working on state workforce here, and we finished our pantheon. Let's see. So, we have eight housing currently, so we're not doing too bad in housing. Otherwise, I would consider River Goddess because we, if we were closer to the housing and the amenities, because this is probably where we're going to place our, a holy site anyway. So, that wouldn't be bad. Um, still considering it because amenities are actually better now than they were because of the buff in December to how much uh, you get off of being happy or um, ecstatic in your city. Uh, but the other option here would be to take um, Lady of the Reason Marches, because I would get an immediate 4 production boost off of those tiles, which is pretty significant. Um, and there's some other... I mean, I can't really settle here. There's some marshy areas there, though. And there's one there. That's the greedier... I mean, it's... I mean, I really do like getting... I really would like to get the amenities off of River Goddess here, but since I'm already at 8 on the housing, I'm going to go ahead and go with Lady of the Reeds and Marshes here. Um, and now I have some pretty, pretty great tiles right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch over and work that one. And then keep coming over here, exploring over here. I don't think we can one-shot this guy, so we will just rest here. And then we will move down here. And we didn't, like, um, even though we're building a builder, it's it's not actually that beneficial to change. It wouldn't have been super beneficial to change to a 30% card, because 30% on, on this is not going to be... I mean, it's going to be more, obviously. I, I mean, it's going to be... Uh, 3.6 instead of plus plus 3.6 instead of plus 1. Um, but then I have to leave it slotted in for a while, so I don't necessarily like that play. So that gives us the boost on irrigation. And keep exploring over here. Great bath is completed by somebody. We need more amenities. Let's see. So we don't have a holy site down, so I don't feel bad not taking um, the the river goddess there. So uh, the amenities have been updated now that, so that minus one immediately puts you to displease. So we are getting a penalty on that now. 
I don't think that that would have occurred prior to the December patch. Uh, and then, so we can't take these chops here because I don't have bronze working yet. And then, uh, got a volcano over here. And I know, China said something, but I wasn't paying attention. And then, going back up here, and let's see, three more turns. Oh, we'll take that trade delegation, 25 gold, thank you. All right, so we've got another builder out. And we'll go ahead and start working on our settler now, I think. And we'll bring out the Mayan twins. I gotta get out of that tundra area though. It's not super beneficial for it to be there right now. And then bring this out. Two more turns until we finish irrigation. And let's see. Down here, we'll be able to work that, and we'll be able to chop that. And let's see. All right, so we'll get irrigation next turn, so we'll be able to build here. Thousands have lived without love. And then we'll start working on writing because we do need to get a district down. It's a pretty solid tile there. And I'm not going to chop this because I don't want my settler to come out right now because I'm hoping to get, um, I'm hoping to not lose population off of it. So, actually what we'll do is we're going to start building the hanging gardens here. And then, if we take a 43 chop now, it's not really going to make so much of a difference, so we'll wait until it's closer. And then come along here. Oh, dead end. All right. And we've met Norway. Go ahead and send them a delegation. And okay, we still don't have a governor title to take advantage of that. Every nation lives. All right, back. so we've got another kind of continent. So we did just finish foreign trade. So I don't think I'm going to get this district built in time before that I start getting overproduced on this. So let me switch to early empire because I think I will get to six population well before that, since I grow to six population in three more turns. Oh, you know what? I should have swapped God King out here after I got my Pantheon, so I, and then I missed the chance to do it again on that that government um, swap out chance. So that was dumb of me. And let's see, so we've got eleven turns to the Hanging Gardens, and this will be all right. So we can actually declare friends with Teddy Roosevelt now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now at least I know he won't attack me. So there's one person that won't attack me. Uh, we, so we're not going to take that chop yet. And we'll take that delegation for 25 gold. And then move up here and keep exploring this way. All right, we've got our third city-state meet. Not the first meet here, obviously, with all these guys around. We've got Granada here. Um... That wouldn't be a bad one to have. Let's see what the quests are that we have. We have uh, Recruit a Great General, Recruit a Great General, and Trigger Inspiration for Early Empire. So we are going to get that one. So we're going to have a Geneva uh, Envoy here shortly because we're going to trigger that inspiration um, next turn. So. Oop, Teddy Roosevelt didn't like that. But Nanner Nanner, you already declared friends with us, so... Too bad. And then we are this way. And then we will make our way over here. 
And we've got eight turns till hanging gardens. That is going to be uh, 124 production. We get 43 off of that, so. All right. We have 10 turns left on the Mayan twins here. So we need to find them something to do here. There we go. All right. Chingu Eddie. And then to trade route. Let's go this way. And we are seven turns. 108. And one turn till we finish writing here. Whoa. Writing means shit. Oh no. Crap. That sucked. I thought I would get in there. Uh go ahead and start working on bronze working. And Oh, this guy's gonna get in my way, apparently. Maybe he'll move out of my way. Oh, there's a border in my way, probably, here, anyway. Well, I don't like how this is laid out. That's shit-tastic. Um, he moved away, so I couldn't get him. Four more turns until early Empire. This is really horseshit the way this is working out here. I'm not liking that at all. Alright. It's probably like literally horseshit because there's two horsemen there. Alright, so we'll declare friendship here. And it's like Russell's obviously not a first meet. They also want a trade route. This sort of sucks. I'm going to get the... My twins are going to expire here more than likely before I get up there to get a a free unit. Um, Forty, so we can finish this with a chop. So we are going to do that. The ascent to the highest story. So we're going to get that. Actually, that might extend the mind twins' life. It did. So actually, let's. Let's go down there. And then we want to build a campus. Now, this is where I would have originally wanted like a, a holy site. But I don't have astrology researched yet. So let's go ahead and, and put a campus district there. And then this guy over... Oh, did we meet something? I thought I, heard a, I, thought I heard a little ching here. All right, and one more turn until early empire. Nope, I guess Norway doesn't like it. That it was we're building one okay. We finished early empire now. And start working on state workforce here. Move this down here. Now we have a governor title, and I think this is a tough call because I would like to to get a suzerainty here over. I mean, like I could assign it to either of the. Uh, well, actually, I couldn't because this is the only one I could get suzerainty over. So, given that, I think we're instead going to. Well, actually, State Workforce will give us another title, and, and we won't have the Settler ready for the promotion that we want Magnus yet. So I think we actually, I actually can go ahead and appoint Amani here. Because by the time Magnus is ready to get the, um, to get, uh, provision, the Amani will I'll already have the other the other governor title so that'll be fine the way that we are doing it a 
over there. It sucks that we've only gotten one unit off the Mayan twins here. So we're about to finish um, there. So let's swap that into mysticism. How are the, how's the, so, oh yeah, I'm Arabia. So I don't actually have to worry about getting that holy site down in any hurry. So not even concerned with that. So I'm not concerned with, I'm more concerned with military tradition than mysticism there. All right, so there we've finished state workforce. We're gonna get a free unit here. And we'll bring that unit around to here. And then um, we'll finish state workforce. And then that will get that title before we get to settler out. So that's perfect because we don't want to actually lose population. Although we are hurting on amenities, we need to get amenities. So let's go ahead and it is equally important. All right. So this was the last great profit, actually. It looks like because we Arabia's ability kicked in. So. Let's see. Not a lot of great places for the horsemen to ride here, but let's see. So oops, we don't want that. We want political philosophy. And then we'll go ahead and give Magnus the provision promotion so that we don't consume a settler in two turns when we finish that or don't consume a population in two turns when we finish that settler. So and then we will come down here. Have we gotten the boost for bronze working yet? We haven't. So let's move off of there because the boost will finish that. And we will start working, I guess, on masonry because we do have that boost. And we'll just leave our great profit here. And let us see what happens here. Alright, so we're going to get a free scout here. We've discovered, uh, oh, so with Candy here, so it's unfortunate the way this works because I, this happened in my other game, um, and I discovered this. So Candy's special a suzerain bonus gives you a relic every time you discover a new natural wonder, but if you discover that natural wonder because of vision given to you by Candy, getting the Candy suzerainty, it does not kick in and you don't get the relic, so... Uh, we discovered Mouse of Vesuvius, and that gave us the boost to Astrology. So I'm actually going to switch over to Astrology here, because I want to get um, the, the Holy Site. So let's go ahead and move along here, and we're going to get our free Scout here, interested. which finishes off Bronze working for us. And we want to send our Scout over here, and then we want our... Did we finish irrigation? Yeah, we did. So we'll bring our builder over here. Oh, no, we already have that built. God dang it. There's an iron source over there, so that's good. So we are working on astrology. Alright, so we get the heroic relic for... The twins passing along there. So we got a decent amount of units off, but I think it was worthwhile uh, taking that in the build because we've got the horseman and the spearman and the scout off of that. So that's a lot of production that we saved. Um, now I'm, I'm going to take the encampment here because we have two quests to get great generals. So um, I think the, the encampment is not a, a bad selection here. I don't really like where I have to position it, because um, I'd prefer to position it on, well, these two guys are friendly, actually, so, but this is not the side I really want to be defending, although I guess it defends from barbarians. Um, plus, I don't have, like, a lot of, I don't have, like, flat land adjacencies next to it, which is what you want for encampments. Um... Which actually leads me to believe I should maybe buy it uh, this tile here so that I have three flatlands to build. Because the encampments give you um, a... There's a lot of wonders that can be built next to flatlands on encampments. So I'm actually I'm going to buy this tile so that the encampment has three flatlands next to it. Move 
our explorer along here. And then we have our settler. So I think we want to settle over towards that iron source. And then this builder is uh, going to take a chop, probably. So we'll bring the horsemen up here, see if we can't clear out that barbarian camp. Which is uh, okay, the barbarian outpost. I think we will take a chop here. We're hurting on amenities, but actually maybe we can trade for amenities here. Not there. Not there. Nope, nobody has any extra amenities, so we're SOL there. So let me go ahead and take that. Move that along here. We'll move our horsemen up here. And we'll move our explorer along in this direction. Let's see here. Alright, so turn 53, the world enters the classical I era. I don't believe in astrology. And we just get a normal age. It looks like China got the only golden age, but there's two dark ages. Uh, Norway and the U.S. So... Um, so I'm for sure going to get a religion. I think I will go ahead and take Exodus the Evangelist. And then let us take Masonry and finish that off. And here, I think what we'll do is probably another chop here. We have seven population and we are working these tiles, so... Maybe I should build a, build a mine prior to chopping. Because we're going to be growing here soon. So maybe we'll build a mine up here. Move over here. And, oop. Yeah. Alright, so... Turn 53 is the kickoff of the medieval era. So we'll cut out the uh, first segment of this playthrough here, and we will pick back up at the start of the medieval era. And if you are interested, uh, please consider liking and subscribing.